is here with us and is going to talk to us a little bit about Progen. So publishing external Progen modules as private GitHub packages. Let's see, over to you, Ken. Oh, thanks, Maribella. All right, so I'm gonna change this up a little bit. There's been a, a lot of talk in both tracks on you know, using Progen, why I should use Progen. So originally I wanted to go from zero to 60 and show in 10 minutes that we could get an external package going. We're gonna take a step back from that. I'm still gonna show that off and what it looks like. You can find the code afterwards, but I also wanted to talk about the why. So a little bit about me, I'm Ken Winner. I'm an engineer at Steady, and <clears throat> I've worked with the CDK for uh, a little over a year and a half or so. And I didn't start using Progen until Elad's presentation at CDK Day 2020. So I saw his presentation and I thought, man, this is amazing. I really wanna use this and it'll make all of my projects kind of fall in line. So I started using it and I'd say maybe about a month later, uh, saw some people in the CDK Dev Slack workspace. So Matthew, uh, one of the hosts today, right? And I'm talking about how to make our own projects that don't have to get merged into Progen. So he put together an RFC on GitHub. We were talking through it and then just kind of went at it to make it work. And we ended up with how it exists today, which you can do npx Progen new dash dash from. Like I said, I'll show this off. But wanted to get a, give a little bit of that history, right? So then I created the CDK AppSync project. And this was meant to be kind of in the spirit, spirit of what Florian just showed. And you know, taking this kind of like Amplify-like experience and creating that for yourself. So it uses a construct that I wrote and it will create a Cognito set up for you and AppSync and you kind of get this experience all out of the box just from writing npx trojan new and then pointing to that package. So let's go ahead and jump into this GitHub package. Here on GitHub you can find at KC Winter CDK Day 2020 all of the code we're going to look through. I've uploaded a package here to GitHub packages so you can see 013 version and here you've got some instructions how to kind of walk through everything, right? This was made with Progen using NPX Progen new JSII. And let me just go ahead and quickly show the project. So we'll hit that KC winner package, CDK day 2021. And this is gonna fail the first time, but I also wanted to show that portion off. So it's installing the module. Um, and here we get that error, right? And if we look right about here, we'll see multiple projects found after installing. So my project type has two projects in one, and one is a CDK project and one is a library project for just a TypeScript application. So let's go ahead and do that again with CDK day dash project. So re-downloads and Pulls that project, starts setting everything up. Here you can see all of the synthesized files and I've got some of my own sample code files in there. So if we look, it's set up the repo the way that I like and you can see you know, the main.ts and then you can see the lib, which actually has my stack. And if I had some constructs, I'd throw them in there. But if we take a look at this main, it generated you know, these, these fake account values that I had hard coded in there, a pipeline stage, um, a, a stage extending CDK stage, and then a pipeline stack, some different parameters that this takes, and then we've got this. And so, you know, for my organization or for my team, this may be the setup that I want, and maybe it's not quite meant to be a construct, right? So I want to do this reliably over and over, but you know, some, some things don't make sense to be a construct. So if we run npx progen synth, it'll synthesize this stack out and then we'll get to see that YAML. So all with just running npx progen new from, I've got all of this happening, right? And I think that's a pretty powerful story for teams in using this across your organization. So if we take a look at the actual code to set this up, 
we've got it using Progen. So here the, the repo name is KC Winner CDK Day 2021. It's got the repository URL, the author, et cetera, a few dependencies that we need. And then these two values right here, that's, that's pretty much it. And then everything is going, right? Sounds, sounds too good to be true. Uh, if we jump into the actual product project, you can see the CDK day project extends the AWS CDK type script app. So it uses the same basic project options that you can pass in. And then I've created my own prettier ignore settings here. And it will just pass those lines to the prettier ignore. And then you'll want to actually override some values, most likely. So we're saying sample code false for the defaults because we want to create our sample code if our users from the organization are using it. Since this is an organizational internal project, we'll have licensed set to false. And then we're setting this CDK version to 195.2. So what this is saying is only use this. The user is never going to be able to override that. And the reason I wanted to highlight this is maybe you have dependencies that you want to reach across you know, 10 applications and you want to upgrade them all at once. You could set those values in here, you know, depend about updates these, and then you can go from there. Um, I think that also provides a pretty good story. Then you can just update those projects to the latest and then they get that new version dependency and you know, maybe they can override it, maybe they can't. Um, we set some default CDK dependencies that we wanted to add, and then we added some sample code here. And then moving down, you know, this is where I hard coded those account values. Maybe you have um, some place where you store all those values, or you need to pull those in. You could do it this way. This is, you know, just for the example. And then I automatically create these like Pascal case project types. The the contents for the file. Moving on and the stack contents. And then we also create the test. So if we look at the test, it's a, just a basic test to make sure that it has an SNS topic. And if we look at the stack that was created, it's just a simple uh, SNS topic and it sends some subscriptions to some different emails. So I know that's kind of a lot of information just going through this, but it really has helped me in the last, you know, six months to a year using all of this and having a kind of standardized way of creating these projects. If we take a look at the README, not this one, you can see here. Um, right now, you have to use a personal access token with GitHub. I'm working on a way to make it work with the secrets.github token. Definitely open to any help, you can find me in uh, Twitter or something like that. But that pretty much wraps up what I have for the Progen GitHub packages. Also, I used to say Progen, and then you know about an hour ago, Elad mentioned that he says Progen, and I thought it was Progen. So in preparation for today, I've been trying to switch myself, and now I'm trying to switch back. Um, Hope to see you all in the CDK Dev Slack. Like I said, you can find this on GitHub. You can hit me up there. I've got a blog post on a full walkthrough on how to go from zero to 60 and a YouTube video highlighting that as well. Um, yeah, great. That's all I have. All right. Thanks, Ken. It looks like Progen, Progen is going to be the new GIF. GIF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can follow and have, if you have any questions for Ken, uh, you can follow him on the Slack. Uh, 